Hey everybody, it's Tox from CritsHappen.com. Thanks for watching and welcome back. I am joined today by resident child gamer Ninja Zack. This is my son Zack, who's nine years old and does a ton of gaming with us, as most of you know who watch the channel. Uh, we got a critical question of the day today that is uh, going to be a fun one, I hope. Uh, we do a lot of gaming, right? Yeah. Yeah, me and you do a lot of gaming. And uh, we, well, I was thinking today about games that you could use to introduce kids to designer board games or to more complex board games. Um, most families play Scrabble. I play Scrabble a lot. Um, let's see what else. Scrabble, Monopoly, Sorry, Trouble, Upwards, pretty much any Hasbro slash Milton Bradley game. Uh, then the little one starts yelling and looking for mommy. <laughs> so, um, uh, so we were thinking about games like, for example, I like the DC deck building game as a great game to introduce kids to. Uh, it's a single resource. It uses power, so it's pretty easy to keep track of. It's great for addition. It's, it's a wonderful way yeah. to, to learn mathematics. Yeah. Um, and it's pretty straightforward and simple. I mean, there's some complexity to it, but not overly complex. And everyone knows superheroes, and everyone loves superheroes. Um, I love superheroes. You love superheroes? Yeah. yeah. My favorite is Superman because Super he has like oh, ultimate power! Crushing power. 100, 176 power in one turn is what this kid did in, in DC deck building with the core set and only the core set. It's pretty amazing. So, uh, and then what games do you like? What's your favorite game? for? Because you, you have introduced your friends to games. Yeah, so, what, what game do you use? It's like Boss Monster. Boss Monster. It's not up here. It's downstairs. We, we keep most of the games we play as a family downstairs. Yeah. But Boss Monster is yours. Why do you like Boss Monster? I like Boss Monster because it's, it does get twist. Instead of like, you're like the good guy. You're always the good guy. But this time, it goes in a twist because you go as the bad guy. Right. You get to be the bad guy. You, you own the dungeon, right? Yeah. You get to build it. Yeah, you get to build it. And it's really easy. It is pretty easy. It's you, there's two kinds of cards. Yeah. There's what are they? Room cards and room cards spell cards. And spell cards. Yeah. And you get to build your dungeon however you want, which is yeah. kind of cool, right? Yeah. So it's it's a very fun game. Yeah. Boss Monster is a very good game. It's very luck driven, so it's great for kids. Although you came up with a nice little variant of how to fix it. Uh, Zach came up to me one day and suggested drafting cards. Uh, if you've never played Boss Monster by drafting cards, I highly suggest this. So you take, um, I gotta remember this now, and, and you tell me if I'm right or wrong. You have to take, uh, you draw, all, everyone draws their room cards, and then you pitch, uh, you, you draft, sorry, you draft one card and pass them all uh, until you have the right number, and then any extras go in the discard pile to see the discard pile, and then you do the same thing with the spell cards. It's a great, great way to play Boss Monster, but a good option. So those are two good games, so DC Deck Building Game and Boss Monster. Another one which I just thought of as I turned around, which we've been playing a lot of lately and we like, is Machi Koro. Machi Koro is actually really, really good for kids. Uh, very simple addition, it's a roll dice and take names kind of thing, um, but it's really cool. You, you're, you're rolling dice, you're activating buildings, and you're doing a lot of mathematics. It's a really good game for kids as well. So, after all of this elaborate blabbering, Here's the question of the day. What game or games do you use to introduce kids to board gaming? Or what games do you think would be good for introducing kids to board gaming? Let us know. Leave a comment below on the YouTube channel. Or, of course, chime in on Facebook and Twitter by searching Crits Happen. Until then, though, he's going to keep playing with his Baymax figure because we can't wait to see Big Hero 6. No plug for Disney, but if you want to send us cash, feel free to do so. Um... <laughs> <laughs> You're really excited about that movie, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, you are. All right. So hope you have fun playing games with your kids or your younger gamers, and we will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Keep rolling those dice. We hope they're all crits. Woo!